hair in for, when did I do my hair? Two weeks, two weeks, three maybe, maybe less. I haven't had my hair in for a long time. And I'm taking it out because it stinks. I can't deal with the fact that it smells so bad. Like, really, my brother made curry chicken. I was in the kitchen when he was cooking the curry chicken. And then when I got home, I'm like, why do I keep smelling like curry? And I grabbed my hair and I realized that this dang passion to his hair just wants to take in every smell in my surrounding. Who's gonna walk around here smelling like curry chicken? Then yesterday, I'm with some friends and you know, for ambiance or whatnot, we decide, you know, let's turn on some fire and some wood, you know, so we can have a great time, talk, have a drink. Tell me why I smelled like barbecue chicken when I got home later that night. Because this hair wants to take in all the smells. You know what? It's Like all the steps that I did for the tutorial showing you guys how I did my hair like this but don't just don't use this brand of hair because it just it's not worth it don't get me wrong like the way the hair looks the curl you know the quality of the hair is really good because it, it wasn't getting like nasty or anything like the curls are still there it just doesn't smell good it doesn't smell good I don't want to walk around everywhere I go smelling like food or something different. I don't want to do that. For the removal, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Basically, I'm removing the twist, getting to where my hair is, and I'm just going to take that little loop that I initially did, and I'm just going to pull it and let the hair come through. And then with my actual hair, I'm just going to remove the little braid that I did. And that's it. So unravel. Some of them I did braid down a little bit. But at the top, it still has that little loop. So once I get here. I'm gonna grab the loop. Can you guys see that? Grab the loop, put my finger through, and just pull it. If it gives you any problems, you know, just play with it a little bit, and that's it. And then remove the braid. I had to drink some wine because this is misery. This is actual misery. I wanted to keep this in longer. Y'all know when you have a protective style and it don't look the way you want it to look and your goal was to like not have to do your hair for the next month or so. All right, y'all. So after I had my little rant or whatnot, I went ahead and started dividing all of those sections that were clumped together from the twist so that the washing process can be a lot easier. I apologize to anyone who thought that this was more of a tutorial. This was more of a like, I'm angry and I wish my hair would have stayed in longer, but I can't do that. So I'm just gonna express myself to y'all. Then I followed up with some oil because like you guys know, I've been pre-pulling my hair before washing it just to add some more moisture and to make sure that I'm promoting some growth and some retention in my hair. This is a mixture of a couple of oils. You can use any oils that you'd like. Um, I focus on my scalp and then I go in on my ends just a little bit 
and then I just tied my hair up and put on the scarf and I went to sleep because my wash day continued the following day because I was tired of dealing with my hair so I hope that this video was I don't know helpful or funny or like somebody could feel me just don't use this brand of hair that I used um, if you look at my tutorial then you'll see which brand I'm talking about because I actually threw it away so I don't know right now but I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye